Forget about the shipment. Just keep looking for the Equinox truck. F just find that truck for me, okay? And call me when you do. I got another call. Yeah. What do you have for me? I'm working on it. We need that truck, Mr. Morgan. The price for saving Spinelli was delivering information on Anthony Zakar, not, not tracking down hijacked trucks. The price includes delivering Sunny Corinthos. Okay. A friend of mine told me he saw Sam coming into the building earlier. Spoke to the doorman, said she's been here twice. You want to tell me what's going on? Are you going to have to ask Sam? No, I'm asking you. Hi. Do you have a minute? It's, uh, it's about Lucky. Yeah, of course. Okay, good. Um, this is uncomfortable at best, but I was hoping, Crane, that maybe you could help me. Okay, with what? Okay, um, Lucky and I, we, we have been trying. We really have, but we've been having some problems, and it's probably nobody's fault. Well, actually, it's probably... All of my fault. Okay, look, I've been trying to help someone out of a tight spot, and Lucky hates it when I'm secretive, and I can't tell him what's going on because it would compromise his position as a cop, and he would probably try and stop me. Okay, this sounds like something I don't want to be a part of. If this has to do with your relationship with Lucky. Well, it, it is about yours, too. I really don't want to put you in the middle of this, but you and Lucky are connected despite everything that you've been through. Oh, or maybe because of it, but I still think that you can probably get through to him in ways that I can't. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, um, I am doing more undercover work, and it is a very sore spot with Lucky. He doesn't like when I put myself in dangerous situations. He still isn't past the way I got involved with Jerry. And why he had a point, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, yeah. I, it, as much as I hated getting close to Jerry, I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to stop him. That's what Lucky can't see, the satisfaction that I get, that I know that I've made a difference, just like he does when he's being a cop. Okay, and I'm done being a referee and all this. All right, I'm sorry. Listen, I just, I was hoping, hoping that maybe if you get a chance, you can mention to him that when he pressures me, he starts to push me away. Oh, forget it. I'm sorry. This was really a bad idea. I shouldn't bother you. I'm sorry. Forget it. There is a simple solution. Stop doing undercover work. Yeah, but this is important. I really need to help a friend. Elizabeth lied to me about having an affair with you for more than a year. Now, Sam is up here without telling me a thing. I want the truth. Sam and I are working on something. What? I, I, I can't say, but I'm going to tell you right now, it wasn't my idea to bring her in on it. Okay, so she's helping you with some illegal activity. I can't say. That's your answer for everything, isn't it? I can't say. I don't know. I'm helping raise and protect Jake. At least you owe me as an explanation. If you want information, you're going to have to ask Sam. Why did the, the blonde one's older brother leave in such angry haste? I trust it has nothing to do with the Jackal's legal troubles or the yet to be revealed hold the FBI has on Stone. Can you can you stop asking me questions? You used to trust me with your secrets. Well, you know what, Spinelli, this isn't about trust, okay? I let you commit bribes for me that almost put you away for life, and now that's finished. With all due respect. It's not fair to treat me like an errant child. The Jackal deeply appreciates Stone Cold's friendship and, and tutelage. You've mm -hmm. opened your home to me and, and shown me endless patience. You've, you've saved my life and, and, and salvaged my pride on more than one occasion, and now you've freed me from the fearsome clutches of the Federal ones. Yeah, you got arrested because of me, and that's not gonna happen again. Okay, this brings me to my salient point. It, it is most troubling to hear you blame yourself for my troubles, as if I had no free will. What are you will. talking about? You work for me. I asked for information. You hacked into highly classified government websites. You took huge chances. Yeah, but I wanted to help, and if you may recall, before I... Before I found the Stone Cold Path, I was doing illegal hacking for the late and unlamented Darth Alcazar, so you bear no responsibility for my bad choices. You still don't get to know the deal. With all due respect, Stone Cold is behaving with great stubbornness. W would we not make a more effective and formidable team if we worked together? No. But, but what, Spinelli? I told you I don't want to have this conversation. Why do we keep having it? Hey, I came as soon as I got your message. I have something to tell you. 
Okay, go on. The reason I wanted us to meet here is because it'd be easier for you to walk out and harder to throw something at me. I am a big girl. I can take it. Just say it. I went to see Jason. I demanded to know why you've been going to see him. And what did he say? <laughs> what do you expect? He told me nothing. Okay, well, thanks for telling me. No drink in the face. This is encouraging. Um, well, actually, I have something to tell you, too. I went to see Elizabeth, and I had asked her to talk to you about what it is that I was doing. It's nice to know you care. Oh, back at you. You know, it's kind of embarrassing that we have to use our go-betweens. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you say the two of us go back to my place for a little one-on-one -on -one chat? Chat. Do you think we have a chance? Well, we are not going to know unless we try. Alas, the master has again waited his grasshopper and found him wanting. Why, why don't you go visit Maxie or something? Yeah, any excuse to get rid of your burdensome oh. failure of a former protege, correct? See, you avoid pointing out the obvious. The, the jackal's exposure to action often goes awry. Mm -hmm. Like the time I participated in an undercover stakeout with you only to pass out at the wheel of the SUV causing a most alarming horn blast, or the time I accosted the Russians with a firearm but was unable to follow through. See, you're just not good at that stuff. You have other strengths. Yeah, the jackal strengths are in his cyber skills, and that's a field that Stone Cold is, well, somewhat lacking in, so see, my assistance could be most beneficial. It doesn't matter if you can help me or not. <sighs> Your streak of stubbornness is most frustrating. Okay, you know what? What part of... I don't want you at risk, don't you understand? You have talent. Use it for something worthwhile. That is just as the Quartermains wished after your accident that left you devoid of your memory, but you chose to take your own path. Work with Mr. Sir. You, you, you became your own man, d despite the consequences in the, the wishes of the people that sought to protect you. That, that was different. I think the analogy is most apt. See, likewise, I, I, I the Jackal is... I don't is care what, what you think. Right now, stop talking. I'm, I'm handling it. It's been handled. You will need my help. And I shall be waiting when you do. You had enough time. You'd better have a lead on that Equinox truck. I told you I'm working on the truck. Work harder. The Equinox logo was painted on the side and it was last seen on Route 87. What am I missing here? Why in hell can't you find it?